Hello everybody, welcome to the Blood Bowl 3 Chalice. Uh, we've got the first round matchup between Artemis Black and his Dwarves versus Exasperation and his Dwarves. In the booth with me is Fymir. Hello. Hello everybody. Welcome to this game of Blood Bowl between uh, Dwarves. What a surprise. And the surprise is this game is dedicated to our viewers in Sri Lanka. <laughs> With the, uh, with the national flower is the Lil Mahamel and the national dish is the Kotu Roti. Well, thank you very much, Faimi. <laughs> then you are Sri Lanka. Like, funny enough, I know a girl from Sri Lanka is getting married to uh, Boba, my old coach. Oh, I'm wow. going to the wedding here in Scotland in uh, August. Glorious, glorious. So, uh, yeah, so all these matches, there's no Cabal Vision, so we're just having to restream people's vods so this was artemis black stream this i'll put the link in the uh description and as you can see he is down four hundred and fifteen thousand tv <laughs> no he's up for he's up 415 okay he's up 415 surprised well that's lucky for him isn't it, it should be an easy match for him I mean, it's first round, you know, the nemesis of uh, Artemis, but this is a new game in a new universe. <laughs> so, and his dwarves teams have absolutely crazy records. I don't know what record was this team exactly, but they were like 50 wins or something like that. Yes, yeah, he, did, he, he went 50 or no with this team, I believe. Which is all right. Uh, yes, 415 is the treasury oh. in Artemis. Yeah, sorry. So I thought he was 415 down, but this 415 is his gold that he can't spend because of the rules of the competition. They made it res. And then it, so his opponent could be any TV. Yeah, his opponent could be like 1700. Sorry, that was a terrible introduction. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty bad that you can't tell the TVs of the teams before the match. Um Obviously, if you could, I mean, you could watch you could watch the preview that we did um, <laughs> of the uh, of the tournament where we looked at all the teams. But um, yeah, unfortunately, there's no real way to know the TVs of the teams or what the teams are or anything. Almost like Blood Bowl Three is a bit of a terrible game. <laughs> and the donation bar down is not the Jimmy's donation, is the Artemis the, with his spoiler broken. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you know, if you if you want to donate a hundred a hundred pound to me so that Artemis doesn't get his boiler fixed, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is just a, a mirror, isn't it? With with Artemis having the better team. Oh, but the opponent has a death roller. And obviously, so you could, the good thing is dwarves are easy, right? Because this is guard. This is mighty, uh, can you see the uh, cursor? This is guard. This is mighty, but okay, well, Artemis is being a dick. <laughs> yep, yeah, 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 that's the thing. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, oh my God. Oh my God! Stop being a prick, Artemis. <laughs> right, and we've got. Say, so you can watch the YouTube video that Artemis allowed us to <laughs> stream his stream. Yep. So we've got guard, mighty blow, and stand firm, and every dwarf is the same on both sides. <laughs> They've got guard, mighty blow, stand firm. It's brilliant. Good old dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, some of that's orders differently because he's gone random, right? Like this mighty blow will have been a random, a random mighty blow. So then pick guard and stand firm afterwards. Um, and then he has a defensive in uh, one of his long beards and dodge. Yeah. In yeah. some pieces too. Yeah, defensive over here. Um, you know, he has he has got more stuff than his opponent. And what you can't see is his ball carrier. Mm -hmm is the Blood Bowl 2020 standard Dwarf Movement 8 um, with Blodge and stuff, um, which is pretty nice. Don't know what stats the opposing runner's got, you know, we've just got, we can't see stats unfortunately. But yeah, this, this runner is, is at least Movement 8. There is double chat, there is double chat, it's uh, disappointing and uh, yep. Hello, everybody, and thanks, Dimmy. Oh, dear. 
So okay, so something's happened. There's been a kickoff result of some kind. <laughs> Nothing serious because these uh, teams uh, are these uh, moving quickly rather than ranting for five minutes about how un how he's the most unluckiest person in the universe. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Funny enough, I already taking a lot of space on the side. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty it's, I mean it's it's a unique it's a unique uh, it's certainly a unique streaming strategy you know going 50 you know and then commenting on how you're the unluckiest person in Blood Bowl <laughs> and how much do you hate the game yeah <laughs> yeah being Artem is probably the person that played most hours of Blood Bowl 3 since launch yeah he's got to be he's up there isn't he he's definitely up there he is. He is. I think. I think Cruz is number one, but uh, I think like Rick and Art are up there for sure. I mean, there was a guy with a team with like two hundred games or something like that. So some people have put hours on this. Yep. Oh, so yeah, you can see now. Look, he's movement eight and agility two plus, with Blodge and. Is that on the ball? It's something. Uh... It's it's some kind of skill. Yeah, just randomly basing. I don't know why he's just randomly basing there. Like he's not planning on scoring in two turns. This is really, really weird then. I would like to know Artemis's reasoning for this random idiotic shit basing. <laughs> That's really weird. I'm completely bamboozled. I I don't know, it's, it's doesn't achieve anything. I mean, why I... Uh... No. <laughs> That's a very lonely ball carrier, you know, and a lot of free dwarves on the opposing team. Yeah. Could, could we hit the ball here? One, two, three, four. We could hit the ball. Um... If if there's a pow from this hit here, if this, if this is a pow, then the uh, the death roller could hit the ball if it wanted, <laughs> which is a bit crap from Artemis, isn't it? No reason to allow that. I guess it's not as good, right? It's the the break tackle. I mean, it'd still be a two plus, wouldn't it? I think it'd still be a two plus. It's a strength uh, seven, so yeah, it must be. A... But it, it doesn't work like that anymore. That's that's the problem. No, but uh, it's, uh, from uh, a strength four or less is a three plus and a... No, it's it's plus one. It's plus one. It's plus it's... one and a strength five plus is a plus, plus two. two. Yeah, but I don't know what is. So his agility actually matters now, right? So if his agility one, then it would be a three plus dodge instead of a two plus dodge. Yeah, three plus for death roller dodge. Yeah, which is a bit shit, isn't it? Yeah, so that's a, that's a shame for the death roller. Big nerf, big nerf to the roller. So he I mean, got quite far forward out here, didn't he? Um, PC would be proud, he's just, he's just blocking with the roller and he's already blitzed, hasn't he? Blitzed up there. I mean, it's actually a big nerf, right? It, it's gone from, it's gone from a, a one plus dodge to a three plus dodge that's that's a pretty yes. substantial I mean, nerf in, in the past uh, he could uh, the roller could just go anywhere because uh, the level of strength you know allow the roller don't care about the uh, tackling uh, the zones or anything <laughs> one deep out <laughs> doesn't die well it apparently worked out for art anyway he's taken out you know, he's trading his worst long beard for a, a good long beard, but I would have just I'd have just put an assist in two deed him and just kept knocking him down <laughs> for free and then eventually you know, you, you you might cas him, you might stun him and then you can move two people back. And it just doesn't seem worth it to me at all, but there you go. Yeah, it's a huge nerf to bowls, but I mean Oh yeah, the bulls. So they are very nerf, but they're they're not even in the game anyway. So, yeah. I mean, I think they are in tabletop. 
Oh, yeah, actually, it went from naught plus as well, right? Sorry, I was just thinking it was one plus in the order. It was zero plus, right? They were, they were zero plus. You can't even be zero plus anymore. So it's it's a huge nerf to rollers, and it's a nerf to uh, sorry, a huge nerf to rollers, and a nerf to ogres as well, right? Ogres have gone from a one plus to a two plus. It really is a big nerf to break tackle. Real, real big nerf to break tackle this edition of the rules. Sad. Sad, 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 sad. But good for like human catches and stuff. Well, not good, but a buff for those. Like a buff for everybody except people who would take break tackle. <laughs> <laughs> for everybody that doesn't it. Never took it is a buff, and for the people that actually took it is like not taking it anymore. Yeah. So what's already in scoring range there? <laughs> it's movement 10 carry. Pretty good. I mean, which is another reason to not randomly base over there, right? Like, you need so little penetration over the course of the drive that, like, it just seems crazy to, like, give up hits for no reason. But there you go. It's what he's elected to do. He's given up a loads of hits here. Really weird, weird play by Artemis. I don't know if this is how he always plays. <laughs> but, um... I think maybe he got so used to Revile's considering turn 2 that he doesn't know how to play from turn 3 on. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, right? <laughs> maybe this is Artemis devolving to the level of Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> Blood Bowl 3 ladder. <laughs> Chalice nerves, yeah. On the ball, on the ball is um, kickoff return and pass block rolled into one skill. But uh, uh, but it's a passing thing. If it was general, I think it'd be you know it'd be all right on a lot of players. But as a passing skill, it's uh, pretty type of wow. It's a terrible reroll, uh, in my opinion. <laughs> Also, be moving eight. You don't need, you know, to have a kick up return. Mm. It's, it's it's all right for like, the, like you, the thing is with on the ball, like you take it on like. Or it was you take it, but like you can take it like you used to be able to take it on like stuff that wasn't a ball carrier, you know, like a hobgoblin or whatever, and now you can't, so it's kind of a bit rubbish. So I mean, probably a random skill. You know, he had there. Maybe he was uh, aiming to try to get a leader. Yeah, he probably just took random with. Uh... Oh, it's a general, yeah. So it's it's not on the ball because it's general. So I don't know what it is. I don't know what that skill is because it's not on the ball because it's it's general skill, right? So he he lived he lived randomed. He, he's got like I think wrestle there. Like he random things because uh, the format of it's strip ball. Thank you, Elliot and Jay Lee. Strip ball. Oh, thanks, Elliot. Yeah, it's because the the format of the of the of the playoffs is you you know your team was locked in and it's res because of the limitations of the format so everybody randomed whatever they had right so he randomed a general and got strip <laughs> hell yeah just wrote sort is in the chat and says strip <laughs> yeah see the earlier coming you know facts <laughs> So Art gets away with his moving in. And, like, it's all right. Obviously, with him having to stand firm, it's not... Like, that's why this reroll was weird, right? Because powering him or pushing him doesn't make any difference because he just, just stands firm. Like, if you'd, if you'd won in nine and he didn't have stand firm, you could reroll it to push forward to get the assist in and stuff. But, like, seeing as he couldn't, it didn't make any sense, really. But he did it anyway. Yeah, Elliot just giving out orders. He wasn't. He wasn't talking about. I was skills. thinking about that. Maybe you know it was a yes, a command. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Elliot doesn't even say hello to people. He just says strip. <laughs> oh, we've got a surf here, right? An easy, nice, easy surf for Art. But this is a one D. Oh no, it's not. That guy's got stand firm. What? And I, I didn't realise he had stun firm. I couldn't see underneath all the other skills. So he's done a 1D blitz. Okay. What? I don't know why he did a 1D blitz. <laughs> okay. 
I'm confused. Also by the constant camera movement of art, uh, the street mark thing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, why why go for that? I mean, I've got no idea. I don't know why uh, why this guy blocked with his roller. Right, it would have been much better to try and knock this guy down and free the roller. I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Maybe he was aiming to uh, score. Oh, to get rid of the roller. He wanted to score to get rid of the roller. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that that explains day, tagging over one here. One day as a push, any pushes or anything that works good mm, enough to so score, uh, get rid of the thing and that sort of thing. Yeah, so it was, to, it was to fast score to get rid of the roller. That makes sense, yeah. Well done, Fimea, for working it out. <laughs> that explains all of his bad decisions so far. <laughs> He's just desperately trying to score quick like an idiot. But it's to get rid of the roller. Like I was wondering why he was playing so badly. But it's because he's scared of the roller. Okay. Well, not what I would do, but who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> oh my god, what's wrong with art? <laughs> it's uh, difficult to watch sometimes, not gonna lie. <laughs> I've never actually watched his stream before, right? I just, I just tune in and listen and type in chat. <laughs> Look at chat and listen. Like That's what I do on all the Blood Bowl streams nowadays. Like I find it really hard to watch the matches. It's, uh, yeah, for me, that's also uh, difficult. And I oh, usually have it just on the second monitor while I work. Yeah, this, this camera but is insane. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't like the graphic style of Blood Bowl 3 anyway, though. No. Oh, so he's wanding the ball into a skull, into a pow, a full pow. I mean, it was a thirty percent. It wasn't gross. It was uh... an armor wreck. Okay, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> an armor break and catches it. <laughs> well, well, those things, these things happen. Yeah. I mean, it was kind of deserved. It was a, it was a terrible, terrible drive. It was an absolute terrible drive from Artemis. But at least we know why. Yeah, you worked it out, Fami. He wanted a fast score. But I mean, even then, like, I don't like the way he went about it. But at least now I understand why he tried. I think to... he could have maybe prepared the. Little better, you know, not relying on going for 1D blocks uh, in pieces with a stand firm. Yeah. Or did he or did he not have a stand firm in the PC? He, I think he didn't have a stand firm. Yeah, but true. being able to use multiple rerolls. But he, he only had three rerolls, so Yeah, it's just it's just weird. Like, you know, okay they've got a roller, you know, like you can you can just play you can like play properly <laughs> and then if the roller like you know causes somebody and you get scared then you can try and you know switch and score or whatever or you can like try and do like a proper safe two turn don't just do whatever he's done <laughs> if only Hart didn't notice him playing so he, we could hear him call himself garbage <laughs> indeed to me yeah i could imagine i could just imagine Artemis commentating on this match. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing a 1D for? Like, to be fair, I was like, what the fuck is he doing? But Fimea worked it out. Yeah, he was going to score that turn, right? He was going to double GFI and score. I mean, that's my guess, you know, because yeah. any other uh, thing, is why, why you need to open a space there, yeah. the only uh, answer I could think was scoring. <laughs> Wait, what happened there? That was a wrestle uh, hit with. Uh, oh, he's got wrestle. He's he he, he random wrestle <laughs> on a long beard, <laughs> and he gets to use his random wrestle. <laughs> Amazing. Doesn't stand up this guy first. 
Another uh, snake and turnover, and the ball is. Uh, mm. I think the exasperation maybe can uh, create a situation where he can pick up the ball. Yes. Is it gonna be difficult? You know, it's gonna take a long time. So, uh, but yeah. Oh wait. No stand firm. Oh my stand god. Firm. Art is literally giving me motion sickness right now. Is this is the new USP of his channel? He just tries. To, he just tries to kill his viewers by <laughs> moving the camera constantly. Oh my god. Another armor break. Hmm. Now he's got Frenzy to... Oh, I, I don't know if Frenzy even gets two shots at this, right? Because of... Uh, it might be Bug. It was Bug at first. Firm. Yeah, it was Bug that it only got one, one I know it's, uh, Frenzy used to be... Oh, and I, I don't know if it still is. Bug that gives you like an extra movement. Yeah, yeah. I think it still gives you an extra movement, yeah. I, I, it, I don't know if it works on Stand Firm or not. Yeah, I think they fixed it. I think it works against Stand Firm. But, uh, you know... Don't don't bet on it. <laughs> Shouldn't move the roller, right? I think the roller should be here, so it's on both of these already. Or alternatively, like out in front, but you or just a, just a way for an dwarf with a blotch stand firm. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna keep the roller, you know, there for ages. Yeah, yeah. Whatever happens, he should have moved the roller already, just before he's making these blocks. Things could fail. Oh, there is a chain there. Why didn't he blitz with the... Uh... Why didn't he blitz with the uh... Troll Slayer? Oh, there is no chain because there is a stun fair. Yeah. He only got one hit because he didn't blitz with a, with a Slayer. Like, surely, like... I mean, if it's bugged, I don't know if it's bugged or not, but if it's not bugged, you have to blitz with a Slayer. And he also... Like, to get that assist, he had to... Like, that assist was only if he was going to blitz with a Troll Slayer, right? If he's not going to blitz with a Troll Slayer, then he should have uh, he should have assisted with a Troll Slayer there, then blitzed with the other guy, and then there would have been a space for the runner to get through. So, yeah, he played that pretty, pretty poorly, I would say. And finally, the Armour Wreck. Yep. It was basically inevitable eventually. Yeah, we took uh, four times, but four times of a random uh, idiot uh, getting control of a very good player, so yeah. pay good dividends for Arts. Yeah, that's it. So, like, with the, with his plan of the quick score, it makes total sense, right? But for the plan of playing Blood Bowl, it, it, was, it was idiotic. But now I understand he was trying to quick score. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Faimir. <laughs> what, what can I say? Sometimes I get it right by accident. <laughs> wrestle? Oh, he's used wrestle, wrestle twice! <laughs> Best rando skill ever. Oh man, stack them all up with no rerolls. Let's go. Doesn't get the pick up. <laughs> he's gonna really catch us it. It's perfect to his runner, you know. <laughs> that now, more or less, the perfect line to run away. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that was pretty unlucky, not gonna lie. <laughs> and there's the concede. So there you go. <laughs> well. Well, <laughs> I didn't know any of this before the, I came here. I was expecting for a, nearly a whole game of Blue Bowl, but <laughs> Art managed to self sabotage himself <laughs> enough to concede. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, amazing. So there you go. So obviously conceding totally fine in the in this oh, format. Um, because you know there's no there's no consequences in terms of like extra you know MVPs or no casualties taken or you know all the yes, kind of things that could happen in you know the that would affect the integrity of the tournament because it's res. Um, you know concedes are totally fine. Um, but yeah, brilliant, brilliant that Art maintained his <laughs> maintained his chalice form from Blood Bowl two in the Blood Bowl. Yeah, three. yeah, yeah. You know, it's like okay, this is enough to count as a round game. <laughs> I mean, it was 
very unlucky, more than in a few uh, situations, but I think his game plan maybe could have been implemented uh, in a different way. Yeah, I really, didn't like, I really didn't like the quick score to get rid of the roller. Because, like, you know, it, it increases the chance of you losing 2-1, right? Like, and, and the attrition you take doesn't matter in terms of the rest of the tournament. So, like, yeah, I think, like, you know, do a normal drive that you don't have to stall till turn 8 is the play, right? Yeah. You know, yeah, I also, the... uh, being the resurrection format means that you can do your up extremely aggressively. Yeah. You know, you don't need to worry about the deaths or anything like that. So you can use it for nearly more or less anything to guarantee you and keep the player. Yeah, so there you go. Well, hilarious. I mean, that was hilarious, wasn't it? <laughs> that, that, that's, that's, that's absolutely epic. That's, uh, <laughs> I, I wonder what the artist was saying. If anyone in chat here knows what is so watching live, he can give you know, a review <laughs> of the last words of art in a chalice. <laughs> Be, I know I can see now that the stream the stream went for another four hours. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so that well there you go. Congratulations to Exasperation and commiserations to Artemis Black. And thank you very much, Fimia, for joining me in the booth. Glorious. Well, if it's gonna be like this, <laughs> I hope our viewers in Sri Lanka didn't get too much motion sickness. <laughs> At least it was sort. <laughs> There you go. And thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.